Today on Power Nation Daily, General Motors 2019 pickups will have an option of an i4 turbo for the first time ever, a squirrel that filled an engine compartment with over 50 pounds of pine cones, a man that took the problem of speedy motorists in front of his house, well, he took that problem into his own hands. How the growing population is forcing Utah's last car park yard to close, and the Jeep Trackhawk hit zero to 60 in under three seconds. That all happens right here, right now on Power Nation Daily. Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to Power Nation Daily. My name is Gannon Pritchard. This is the show that you guys can't get enough of, right? Tell you what, seriously, go onto our website, hit us up, let us know what you want to see because we're doing this for you. Let's get on with the news. General Motors is doubling the available choices for engine options in the redesigned 2019 Chevy Silverado and GMC Sierra 1500 pickups. Automotive News reports that this includes an addition of a new four-cylinder turbocharged engine that can run on, get this, two cylinders to increase fuel economy. That's pretty far out. The change is in hopes of getting the mile per gallon down to rival the Ford's V6 EcoBoost engines and the Ram 1500 with a mild hybrid system. So I guess we'll see. The 2.7 liter i4 turbo engine is a huge step and it's the first of its kind in modern day technology for a four cylinder engine in a full size pickup. It's the, actually it's the industry's first pickup capable of running on two cylinders also, which is insane. My truck runs on four and it's a V8. Two cylinders though, that's nuts. However, the company reports that the EPA testing is not actually finalized for the 2019 models and didn't release expected fuel economy. But the thing is, it actually makes decent horsepower. The engine makes 310 horsepower, 348 pound-feet of torque. Production of the pickup is expected to start in the fall. What are your thoughts? So you should definitely check under your hood every now and then, probably more than this person did, because, well, there was a problem. Kellen Moore from Michigan popped the hood to find more than 50 pounds of pine cones that a squirrel had stashed in every possible direction under his hood. A photo was posted on Facebook and it said that Moore and a friend took about 45 minutes to get the engine clean of pine cones. But the good news is the car runs just fine. That's crazy. An English man who is tired of drivers speeding past his house has taken things into his own hands. Jim Dyke lives in a residential area where the speed limit is 30 miles per hour. But according to him, he told the Daily Mail, drivers often speed through at 60 miles an hour, which is a lot faster than 30 miles an hour. So he decided to, well, do something about it. He actually made a fake speeding camera and he put it outside of his house. He used drain pipe, and other materials for his DIY project. And he said it's actually getting the job done. Smart guy. A noticeable amount of people are actually slowing down now. Some are even stopping to see if the camera's real. The good news is it's working. I think it's a good idea. I was thinking about putting speed bumps in front of my house, but probably get in trouble. After 90 years, this salvage yard and all the cars and parts in it have less than a month left. With all the growth and development, people need to go somewhere. But in Utah, it's getting so cramped that McBride's Auto Wrecking is the latest property to be forced to sell. That's a bummer. Owner Dennis McBride talked with local news station KSL TV about how he now has to sell more than just his classic cars and the land that his family has owned since 1930 because he can't afford the rising taxes. That's messed up. Over the years, he's had everything from Hudson's to Jaguars, but unfortunately, the good old days have come to an end. We talked about the Grand Cherokee Trackhawk from Hennessy when it was put on the dyno, and the thing made some serious horsepower, but what can it do with the drag strip? Apparently, it can do quite a bit. The 1,000 horsepower Jeep can go from zero to 60 in 2.7 seconds, and it can run the quarter mile at 10.7 at 132 miles per hour. That's one fast SUV. Thanks for watching Power Nation Daily, everybody. I'm Gannon Pritchard. Let us know what you want to see online and on PowerNationTV.com. See you soon.